Before this video starts, if this guide helps you out in any way, shape, or form, like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any questions. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly step by step how you guys could go ahead and play Roblox without downloading it. So, let's go ahead and begin right now. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you two separate ways on exactly how you could go ahead and play Roblox without going ahead and downloading it i'm also going to showcase you guys step by step how to do this so first guys you're going to go ahead and open you know your laptop your computer whatever it is and now we just need to go on our browser okay and now we need to go and search we need to type up now gg now before we go on here and before i show you all the steps i just want to make it clear i'm not sponsored by now gg in any way shape or form so anyways let me click on search right here. And now let's go over to Roblox on now GG. You could go to Roblox on now GG by searching for it. So just search Roblox and Roblox is going to pop up. Okay, it's really that simple. It's not hard at all, guys. It's not hard at all. Then click play in browser. Wait for this to load. Okay. Wait for this to load. So now that it's loading, just wait a second. As you can see, it's going to take some time to load because it's obviously connecting for a proxy that has it installed and you're just controlling that proxy through the website. And I'm going to show you guys how laggy it is and how smooth it runs as well. So first, let's click on sign up. I don't recommend you guys actually logging in on here. I just say sign up and make a new account each time. So let's do confirm birthday. Let's make a random username. I'm going to make a account. I'll be back. So now that we've made our account, as you can see right here, now let's go ahead and test run a game. Now a game that's quite popular is natural uh, disaster survival. So let's click on play on this game and let's see how smoothly now GG runs it. And keep in mind, guys, I'm on a pretty old Chromebook. So uh, games usually run pretty laggy on this Chromebook. So because um, I don't have the new one, I have the old one. But I'm going to show you guys if it's less laggy on now GG or more laggy. And to my surprise, it's actually less laggy, dude. I swear. Now GG is running it smoother than my normal uh, CPU would have anyway. So I'm through a website right now, right? Playing Roblox and it's running it smoother than my computer would. I swear, I swear to God. And in fact, the graphics are better. The FPS is better. Everything about it is better everything every little detail is better and it's less laggy and it's without downloading it if that sounds crazy dude it is how is this running it better than my normal cpu would i'm still baffled but the way they made this thing is crazy this is a virus disaster, apparently, which is pretty funny. So here, nothing will happen. As you guys can see, I'm pretty good. Just hiding out. And if we go ahead and check the settings we're running out, let me actually show you guys in case you guys want to see the, the frames, the CPUs running out. 
and everything. So if we go on Roblox, then if we go on settings, right, as you can see, it's running decently. Now we can turn this on and off. I'm pretty sure. Or is it not going to let me? Okay, it's not going to let me. But yeah, it's running pretty smoothly. It's running very smoothly. The graphics are actually on the lowest. I'm surprised by that. I am surprised by that. Wait, can we actually turn it up? Or no? Nah? I wonder what will happen if we turn the graphics all the way high. But I don't think it's going to let us, right? So if it doesn't let us, then it's probably on a bit of a lower system. Never to say the less, it's still pretty decent. But. Yeah, so we, it's on automatic mode, that's why. Can we switch it from automatic to manual? No, okay, it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me. So yeah, it's not going to let us do that. It's not going to let us increase the quality. But yeah, it runs really smoothly. I'm actually very proud of this. And you could also connect it to a controller as well. Now guys, the only cons of this is there's no cons actually. There's no cons. Literally, it, there's no cons. There is no cons. And guys, if you ask me if it's safe and how many stars it has and everything like that, I have checked Trustpilot, and it only has two stars, so that's kind of bad. I'm not going to lie, that's not that good. Yeah, that's actually really bad. But, nevertheless, although it has, like, two stars, it's still very good. And do I recommend it? To be honest, I actually do. And the reason I actually do recommend it, not that I'm sponsored because I'm really not, is because there's hundreds of games to choose from. And, like, Roblox isn't the only game you guys can play. You can play so many different games. You could do so many different things on now, GG. I know it only has two stars and, you know, that's kind of bad. But I think overall, it's pretty good. It takes some time to load. I'm not going to lie. Each game does take some time to launch. But other than that, I mean, it's just a great experience. I'm not going to lie. It's very smooth. It could run the game properly. It takes some time to load. But when it does load, the game is good. Like, it's not going to lag or anything. Especially, like, keep in mind, this is on your browser, dude. You're not even downloading some sort of now GG app. Straight from your browser, you're getting to play these games and it doesn't lag. How cool is that? But yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 experience. Seriously, would recommend. Honestly, it's very good.